Welcome to our series on Nature Declares the Glory of God. Our text is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 1. Psalms is the 19th book of the Bible. It is a collection of 150 psalms, prayers, and compositions. The majority of psalms were written by King David. King David was wrote, King David wrote Psalms 19, which says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the earth shows his handiwork. Let's pray. Dear God, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Help us to understand your words of wisdom. Amen. Today, we'll look at God's largest creation, which declares the glory of God, which is nature itself. As we look at beautiful nature, let us consider the following. Consider the air we breathe. Do you know how air is composed? Four chemicals, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and carbon dioxide. What if air only had two of the four chemicals? What if there was no argon and carbon dioxide, but only nitrogen and oxygen? Nitric oxide, which is so irritating, we choke before we could breathe. And our first breath, what if the chemical formula for air were mixed differently? We could not exist. Who mixed the formula? Job 12.10 says, In whose hand is the soul of every living thing, the breath of all mankind, Jeremiah 10, 12 says, He made earth by his power, established the world by his wisdom, and stretched out heavens by his discretion. Consider the water we drink. God has a great recycling system in his nature for replenishing the earth's supply of water. When it rains, the rain falls in lovely lakes or falls on mountains. As the sun comes out, the snow melts on the mountain. As the snow melts, the water rushes down through brooks and rivers to the sea to replenish the water supply of the earth. As the water evaporates, it goes back up into the air and falls again. The waters you drink today is as old as time because God has created a natural cycle that obeys laws. Recycling Earth's water over and over again. Where there is design, there is a designer. Consider the earth beneath our feet. What would this world be like without its restful carpet or living green grass and foliage? God didn't have to cover the bare soil with such a covering. Humanity could have survived on a bleak planet of gray tones and colorless plants. How much happier we are to enjoy bright, vivid colors, such as yellow sun, blue skies, white clouds, and green foliage. In conclusion, God has created everything for our happiness. He creates the towering mountains, vast, restless oceans, and limitless universe. Let us give honor, glory, and praise to Him every day for what He has done and will continue to do. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your largest creation. Declare your glory. Thank you for the air we breathe, water we drink, and the earth we live on. Amen.